guess who woke up before him? I had Greek yogurt already with a bunch of berries, a bunch of berries and some oats. I grabbed some oatmeal as well, but I'm going to head with him to grab some meats. I need some meat before our hiking. Let's go. So yeah, we have to walk across our building to this building. I discovered all this. This is where the live music is. It's just a cute area too. I want to check it out later tonight. It is 1036, hopefully we find parking. I know a lot of the lots for the trails are fairly small, so if we don't find a spot in the lot, we might have to hunt along the street. Um, and the worst case scenario, we're gonna have to just head over to another trail and see if that's open. So um, I'm pretty excited for this one. It's supposed to be a fairly easy trail. That's what everybody online is saying, fairly easy, wide path. If anything, there might be a bit of a climb at the end. We'll see. I'm just going to take it step by step. Um, but it should be some good view, so I'm excited for it. So, two miles is what they're saying the whole trail is. Uh, we did eat breakfast. I did bring oatmeal here to give myself another boost of energy before we start the hike. So, that's where we're going now. Morning views, guys. Morning views. Spot, luckily. Yeah, very lucky. Um, I don't know. Once, right? Yeah, I don't know where to enter, so. So we gotta look at the map. Let's explore. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's see how long our shoes are. Also, guys, I brought the wrong shoes. Oh my God! Blowers. I never do this. Baby brain. That's what. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. More mud. I can't believe I'm breathing hard already. Yep, we're at a higher altitude. <laughs> we're at a higher uh, elevation. You should probably drink water every, every Fifteen minutes. Huh? Fifteen minutes. At least ten. I probably didn't need this. It's warm now. Oh well. You never know when the winds might pick up. Yeah. Exactly. I should have brought a windbreaker. Are you guys going to Birthday Cake? Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, cool. perfect. <laughs> You already took the wrong trail. <laughs> oh, really? I know, I know. We're like, we're gonna get lost. <laughs> She said that the lady that talked to us mm -hmm. that lives here, and she's like, follow this, and then the post go left, and then you'll be able to see it and hear people all there. It's almost 1 p.m., which uh, it's about lunchtime. I'm not super hungry, but I'm excited to get back to the car. <laughs> um, I made it up to the birthing cave. It wasn't super easy, but it wasn't the most challenging hike. I think what made it more challenging for me was obviously I'm carrying the baby and I'm not wearing my proper hiking shoes. Luckily they have grip. Okay, it's muddy now, but they had enough grip and there was enough grip on the rocks up there. And there was like steps. There's enough steps for you to step on. It's just, you know, it's scary climbing up. He made it pretty high. 
high enough to get a good view still. Got some good shots. Yeah, it's just he couldn't make it all the way to the cave because he had this. How many pounds is his back? I don't know. I got my rucksack back here and, and he's tripod. This, and it's just to get the the uh, pathway gets a little bit narrow and windy up there. It's a little <coughs> sketch and steep for me to carry all this gear, and mm -hmm. I just become super top heavy, and that's just a recipe for disaster. So she went made it all the way up into the cave, and uh, she'll probably share her thoughts with the cave. Yeah. At some point. Um, I'll let it sink in. Yeah. Um, I was happy that uh, the people up there were friendly enough to take my photo. I took their photo too. So nice. I could have gotten more, but you know, people are coming in and out. I got enough. So. Cool. Yeah, it's a nice trail. Good views. Happy we got this in in the morning. I think it helped that I eat a lot for breakfast. I ate that oatmeal right before the hike, so. But I'm looking forward to eating. So one of the cool things they offered to us was to do half and half on our pizza. So we got the fungi florentine for one side of the pizza. Then I also got the chicken, bacon, and something on the other side of it. Um, sounds pretty good. Can't wait till it gets out of here. Can't wait to dig in and eat and then continue on with our day. But quite honestly, I think after I eat, it's gonna hit me like a ton of bricks. Either food coma or something. I'm gonna need coffee to, to counter fatigue from the walk. I lugged all that camera gear up there and uh, feeling it. But we made it. Oh my God, I was thinking the same thing when I went to the bathroom. So, I used the bathroom on the trail which felt really good i think i really needed to do that before i hiked um but i've been hydrating pretty good so i had to use the bathroom while we got here i used the bathroom and then i was washing my hands in the mirror and i was like damn i look tired definitely not how i looked in front of the mirror before we left our hotel today before we left our hotel i was like i'm looking pretty fresh <laughs> And then I was in the bathroom just like a few minutes ago and I was like, damn, I look haggard. And you know what I realized too? I didn't I didn't put any sunblock on my face for the amount of sun my face probably got. I had a hat on, but I had to take it off every now and then so I could see like where I was stepping. It was a little too much shade. Um, I'm going to need to refresh my face after this. Or who knows? Maybe I just need food to give me energy. <laughs> I've been hydrating. At least, that's a good sign. You'd think the hydration would make me look a little fresher. Oh well. But yeah, I'm feeling the soreness here. He was carrying a backpack, so I, I, I'm guessing the shoulder soreness is from holding the tripod in the second half back. And then I did have a, a fanny pack that I kept alternating. And I put my heavy flask on that, so... Uh, and we'll see how my feet go. I could really use a nice... Epsom salt water to dip my feet in. Mm. Tastes good. Do you think maybe you could add more cheese? It's good though. Tastes healthy, all right. Nice and cold. Just received an interview. Put cranberries in there. Oh, okay. Put cranberries in there. Oh, that's surprising. So 
it's good. It's good. Light enough for a, a midday, uh, I guess, snack meal. We saved money because we split a pizza. But I can imagine if you get your own combo or if you buy something that's an entree, you can start to add up here. So if you're in town and you want to eat here on a budget, literally just split a pizza. I think you'll be okay. Take your time eating each slice, enjoy the flavors, drink lots of water, and before you know it, you'll be full walking out of here. Well, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm glad we split the whole pizza because three slices was just right for me. Three slices, water. I mean, I would have liked to try their salad. It looks good. Um, but I feel like salad is something I can save for dinner time. I'm about ready to just relax. I probably, it's only 2.48. I have time to browse some shops later. My feet are, yeah, but not, they don't hurt enough for me to, to keep me from shopping, so. Now for somewhere familiar. Brownie. I forgot they warm it for you too. I was like debating if I wanted to eat it right now or not. But they warmed it, so you know, I guess I gotta eat it now. <laughs> I'll pace myself. I mean, I could do without it, but at the same time, I think my pizza's already digesting. This is a good sign. Maybe it's because we ordered gluten free, right? Oh, we didn't? I thought you did. Oh, man, the whole time I was like, this is pretty good gluten-free maybe, crust. Maybe, maybe you just have to tell yourself it's gluten-free. <laughs> maybe I would taste the coconut flavor that most gluten-free crusts have. Damn, the whole time I thought I was eating gluten-free. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whatever. Tastes what I, I would expect from a brownie. Probably a 10 minute walk from our hotel. So normally it's pretty traffic on this road, but I think the traffic is a little worse today because this is me assuming I just found out the film festival. Sedona Film Festival starts today. Oh, I so think it just be it's Saturday night. Could be. Everybody's out on the town right now. Yeah. Oh well. Walking through Tlaque Pake Norte. Got some jewelry stores. Don't know what this is. Dogs and cats. Artist's kitchen shop. Ooh. I want to check this out. Nice knives, wine openers, beverage. I got beads, shells, artifacts, tea, more crystals. Okay, maybe nothing super appealing to me, but at least Mr. Meow is enjoying his little rocking chair. It's so good. He's rocking. <laughs> Pretty sure mine doesn't do that. I don't need it to actually, so. Okay, we turned around. I think we've reached our max. But we're gonna check out the Lake Pake, Lake Pake Arts and Crafts Village right now. We're gonna cross over and over. Should be pretty cute stuff to walk through. I feel like I'm in, in Europe. Another gallery. near us, especially, I mean, we know lots of places in San Diego too, that's like this kind of vibe, 
I don't know if I want to eat Mexican out here. Up to you. Maybe. <laughs> For now, we're just enjoying the ambiance and the architecture. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, what a day. I still can't believe I didn't realize that I had loafers on until I got out of the van. I, I literally happened to look down and noticed that I wasn't wearing the hiking shoes that I wanted to wear. Um, but I pushed through and I'm really happy and proud of myself that I completed the birthing cave hike. Um, it was definitely a little scary in terms of the fact that I, f I knew it was being a little risky being pregnant and I had to tell myself, I'm just going to be super careful and we're going to be okay. If I feel off uncertain about it while I'm hiking, I can always turn around. I was also thinking that if pregnant women used to climb up here to give birth, I can definitely do this at five and a half months pregnant. Definitely do not do that with loafers though. If you can remember, it was baby brain already for me. The last bit of that trail was pretty narrow. You had to take turns with oncoming hikers to use that path. After our stroll through the plazas, the Tlaki Paki plazas, we headed back to our hotel, rested for a bit, and then drove out to McDonald's to get a picture with the blue arches. I believe it's the only McDonald's with blue arches. So I'm like, let's take a picture. This is like rare, right? Also, we wanted to save ourselves time and money from having to wait at a restaurant. It was a nice night to just grub and chill in the van and stare at the stars. Stargazing isn't something I can do easily in my city, so it was definitely nice. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my video. If so, let me know by hitting that like button. I'll be posting more videos soon, especially the rest of my adventures of this Arizona trip. So be sure to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button and ringing that bell. Till next time, guys, fuel your wonderlust.